If you've been following the housing market, then you know the number of homes for sale is really low. So in this video, we'll take a deeper look and see why the housing inventory is so low right now. Hi, my name is Case and I'm a local realtor here in Corona. If you watched our most recent housing update, then you know the lack of inventory is one of the biggest problems facing the real estate market here in the 55 and older communities of Trilogy and Terramore. And a lot of people have reached out and are curious why this is happening. So I wanted to share some information that can help explain it. The real estate market is being affected by a lot of things right now. Mortgage rates have more than doubled in the past year. Plus inflation and the cost of goods have gone up too. And people are really worried about the economy. But in the past few months, we have started to see some positive signs. Mortgage rates have settled and are now in the mid 6% range. And with the Fed's interest rate hikes, inflation has slowed down too. So many of us hoped that the real estate market would begin to pick up. But the reality is, homeowners are simply not putting their homes up for sale like we expected. But there's a reason. It's important to realize that the vast majority of people that have owned their home for more than one year took advantage of historically low mortgage rates. In fact, the rates were at some of the lowest levels we've seen in over 40 years. And these homeowners now have really low mortgage rates. The majority of these homeowners refinanced or purchased their homes when interest rates were right around 3%, and some actually have mortgages in the 2% range. So the problem is, if somebody in this position now decides to sell their current home, they'll be purchasing their next home at a much higher interest rate. And for a lot of people, it would more than double their current mortgage rate. So most of these people are simply aren't selling right now, even if their current home doesn't work for them. And this is having a huge impact on the inventory of homes for sale. In looking at the number of homes currently for sale in the community of Trilogy at Glen Ivy, we're only seeing four homes for sale. And in a community with over 1,300 homes, this is really low. And the community of Terramore isn't very much better. There are just six homes for sale in Terramore. And the only thing helping Terramore is the fact that Dell Webb still has some new construction homes available. And this is helping because it gives buyers another option. But right now, a lot of buyers and sellers are holding back and they're watching mortgage rates. If mortgage rates continue to drop, we should start to see more homes coming on the market. And I just saw an article in the Wall Street Journal that said that most people are waiting for mortgage rates to drop back into the 5% range before they take action. The article went on to say that over 70% of the people surveyed said they wouldn't consider buying a home until mortgage rates came back down below 5.5%. The good news is that mortgage rates have settled down in the past few months, and many of the top economic experts are predicting that mortgage rates will continue to slowly fall over the next few months, and they're expecting them to be in the mid 5% range towards the end of this year. So we'll have to wait and see if these experts are correct or not. But if you're in a position where you'd like to sell your home, there are three things to keep in mind. First, homes that are priced correctly are still selling. It's taking slightly longer to sell a home and prices have dropped slightly, but we're not seeing a huge drop in value like in some parts of the country or like we saw back in 2007 and 2008. Second, there are buyers actively looking for homes in the area. Even though mortgage rates have gone up, there are buyers looking for homes in the 55 and older communities here in Corona. And a lot of these buyers are downsizing from much larger homes or from even more expensive areas. So it's not uncommon for these people to have very large down payments and some even have the ability to purchase a home with cash and not have a mortgage at all. And number three, with so few homes available for sale right now, there is very little competition with other homes. Homes coming on the market now are getting a lot of exposure. And I can honestly tell you, there are buyers out there that have seen everything currently for sale and are just waiting for the right home to come on the market. So if you're considering selling, or if you actually need to sell your home, I'd be glad to show you the numbers for the recent sales in the area. This will give you a really good idea of what your home would sell for in today's real estate market. Now there really is a lot going on in the real estate market, and I do my best to keep you up to date with all of the important issues. So if you found this information, this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. If you hit the icon bell, you'll be notified when I put out our next video.